Hey everyone, it's Adrian Pessel here. Today's topic is how to read the market. And what we're going to do, we're going to talk about the housing supply and understand how to read the trends and not the tea leaves, how to use the local MLS so you can understand what's going on. I want you to do your due diligence. I don't want you to rely on the news. I don't want you to rely on the headlines because their information is too national. Teach your buyers and sellers how to read the trends. This way it prevents you from chasing the market. Let's start out with giving some definition. Well, anything less than three months is a seller's market. Anything greater than six months is considered a buyer's market. Anything in between is a neutral market. And remember, the average sales price is the sum of the total sales dollar volume divided by the number of units sold. And the median sales price is which half the sales are above and half of the sales are below. And this is more reflective of a true trend. A trend cannot be determined by just a few points on the graph. You need to go look at the history, not only from 10, 15 years ago, from last year to last quarter to last month and to last week. The next level you want to look at is from a county, a zip code, and then a subdivision. After you get the data from MLS, you want to pay attention to the ratio between the numbers. It's this ratio that'll tell you whether the market is shifting or changing. To get my baseline, I look at the last six months and then I look at the last 20 years. This way I know what's the norm. Then I can easily spot when something changes. As you can see here, I pay attention to the active listings, the new listings that just entered the marketplace. Then I look at pendings and pendings mean how many buyers actually purchased that month. In Fairfax County, we have a 20 year average of over 1,800 buyers purchasing every month. When you compare that to how many listings we have coming on the market, we have anywhere between a 50 and a 70 percent absorption rate, depending on whether you want to discount the market from 2006 to 2008. When you want to be able to do a quick look at the industry, what's going on, use Bright MLS Industry Watch. As you can see here, I have from 2019 to 2022, the second quarter, and you'll be able to see the month's supply, homes for sale, and get a detailed account. Then put all the data you collected on one page so it's easier to share. You could also take to the front part of the market watch and look at what's been going on in the last seven days or even down to the last 24 hours. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do this. Go into Bright MLS, go into the market watch right here, and as you can see, you can adjust this for today's market stats or up to seven days. Then I go into the manage section and I go ahead and put Fairfax County. You can put any county you want, whether you want single family or townhouses, or then hit save. And then every time you open up your Bright MLS, you'll see this and have an update of what's going on, whether it's seven days or 24 hours. Next thing I want to show you is how to do market insights. So what I want you to do is go up to the top part where it says market. You're going to go up to market watch, go ahead and pull down the menu and you're going to go into industry watch. And from there you can select the state, the county, if you scroll over here to the left, you'll be able to tell the time period. You can do the most recent quarter or go back in time. This is really helpful because you can be able to see year over year. There's also this historical graph for the median price in the area that you selected. And if you scroll down a little further, you'll see industry watch by zip code. Next, I'm going to show you how to get the more detailed information. So this would be using smart charts. If you're not already signed up for it, go ahead and log in here. There's some registration help if you need it. Once you're signed up, you can go ahead and access smart charts and you click on it. And then what you're going to want to do is click on that top blue button and that's going to get you to where you can get the information. And that bar you can put in the county. If you want zip codes and subdivision, you'll have to pay extra for it. Once you get the county information, then you're going to go over to the left side and pick the time period that you want. Then you'll have access to all the detailed information that I was showing you before. The left side will give you the sold summary and to the right will give you the inventory information. Don't be fooled by this. It looks like it's a lot of work, but it wasn't. All you have to do is go back and readjust the time frame. Now, if you want to take this to the next level, do absorption rates for subdivisions, price range, whether it's new constructions, buildings, POA, certain areas. I have two videos that I'm going to link here that you can go to and that'll show you how to do it. Hopefully you learned something new today. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe and make your comments below. Have a great day, everyone.